Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis live in downtown Amherst with reaction to this study. Leon. Chris, the owner of Lime Red Tea House says before he had to go to takeout only, he had to lay off 85% of his staff. Majority of them were college students. Joe Dang is one of many small business owners adjusting to a new normal, trying to stay afloat with a limited staff when he first had to lay people off. He had to bring the bad news to lots of college students who worked for him. Up front at the tea house, a lot of our employees are college students, and uh, yeah, that was uh, definitely they were particularly hit very hard as I had to uh, basically uh, make sure that I have enough staff basically <laughs> to stick through. Dang says with many precautions in place, customers and employees that are left are frustrated, but that's not stopping him from looking to bring jobs back. Once Governor Charlie Baker announces which industries can move forward in the state's four phase coronavirus reopening plan, Dang tells Western Mass News that he will have to adjust accordingly. Our new normal is we have to run our drinks now from the front of the counter now to the front and that's causing uh, an additional step that we didn't have before. So even though business may not warrant an extra person, we have to have the extra person because now there's a job called running the drink from the bar to the front that we didn't have before. Rebecca Paxton, who is a research analyst at the Pioneer Institute, says part of the reason why Amherst is at a 39% unemployment rate is because the type of jobs college students get. One of the reasons generally we're seeing certain hotspots um, in certain areas is because there's probably a high percent of people who have lost their jobs because they were laid off, because they were part-time, non-essential, what have you. Paxton also says even when the Bay State starts to open on Monday, unemployment numbers could continue to rise before it starts to go down. More details about the study will be on our website, westernmassnews.com. Live in Amherst, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News.